Hi, I'm just about to start getting ready for a night out and I thought I would film a chatty get ready with me video because I've not made one of those before. So I've just had a shower, um, blow dried my hair, done my moisturiser, so I'm just going to pin some of my hair back and then get started on my makeup. Normally I would go straight into my primer with my makeup but because I'm going to do quite a heavy smoky eye look there's probably going to be a bit of fallout so because I don't want to ruin all my foundation I'm going to start with my eyes and then do my foundation afterwards. Starting with Maybelline Colour Tattoo and On and On Bronze and I'm going to use this kind of as like a base so a little bit like eyeshadow primer actually. So for the rest of my eyes I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution palette um, it's the Iconic 3 and I did a blog post about this because it is basically a really cheap dupe of the Naked 3 Urban Decay palette so this is £4 which is crazy. I'm just going to use this kind of bronzy brownie colour. Um, oh and I'm using a Real Techniques base shadow brush for this. Um, next I'm going to go with a slightly darker one which is the third from the right. I'm just using this on like the outer corners of my eye and a bit across the crease. So I'm kind of blend that in now and I want like a, a lighter colour for the inner corners. So I'm going to go with this kind of pinky one here which is the, the second lightest shade in the palette. And yeah I'm just putting that kind of in the inner corner of my eye. I'm going to take an even darker colour, which is the final one in here, and just use that on the crease. I'm just going to kind of, as you can tell, I'm just making this up as I go along. I didn't have a, I had a rough idea in my head of what I wanted to do and I'm just rolling with it. As you can see, I've got like quite a lot of fallout on my cheeks and it's a bit glittery and stuff, so I'm just going to get some of this um, Garnier Micellar Water on a cotton pad and kind of wipe underneath my eyes so it's definitely all gone. I'm going to move on to my base and I'm using the Clarins Instant Smooth Perfecting Touch Primer. And this is one of, or it is my favourite primer at the moment, it's just really good at kind of smoothing out all your pores and just making your skin really nice and sort of velvety soft for putting on foundation. So for foundation I'm actually going to use a mix of two and the first one is the Origins Plant Description Foundation. And this is in shade 01 Very Light, but it's actually really quite dark. Um, so I bought it like about a year ago and discovered that it was crazy dark. I mean, look at that, that's that's not very light um, at all, is it? So I kind of tried it and was like, oh, it's too dark, and then put it away in my collection and didn't use it again. And then recently I was kind of getting a bit bored of my foundation routine, so I thought I'll try it again and mix it with something light. And I've actually got this Estee Lauder Double Wear Light in their new Intensity 0.5, which is like the really, really light version. Um, and ironically, I find that it is actually a bit too light for me. This one is a really good match for my skin tone, but I kind of feel like that just really washes me out. So I don't really like wearing it on its own. But mixed in with this, it means that it kind of... Well, I put a bit too much on there, but it does kind of bring the colour to something a bit more suitable for my skin tone. And I just kind of dot that with my face. I'm using the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush, which is probably my favourite brush for a foundation. It's going to take quite a lot of buffing because there is quite a lot of foundation. But um, yeah, I'm going out for a night out, so I kind of want something that's going to stay in place all night. Oh yeah, I've not actually said what I'm doing yet. So um, it's currently like half to. I'm meeting my friends at the station, train station at four o'clock and then we're getting the train through to Glasgow and we're going to a lush blogger event for like an hour or so and then we're going for dinner at this place called New York or NY American Grill which is a new like restaurant in Glasgow um, and it looks quite good so we're going to go there for dinner and then we're going to see Mick Busted at the Hydro in Glasgow, so I'm quite excited about that. I've been to see McFly in concert twice, like obviously when I was younger. Um, one time I even went by myself, because um, I, I really wanted to see them and no one else wanted to go with me, so I bought a ticket on eBay and I was like in the third row, it was awesome. So yeah, when I saw that they were doing the tour with Busted, um, I kind of like asked 
or put something on Facebook like, does anyone want to go and see my busted? And yeah, like a whole bunch of my blogger friends were like, yes, we'll go. Um, so yeah, we're off for an evening, reliving our teens. Next one's concealer. I'm, underneath my eyes, I'm going to use the it's Illuminating Touch. What brand is this? Oh, Collection. Collection Illuminating Touch. Um, under eye concealer. Just kind of brighten up underneath my eyes. Sorry if it's now in a different position as it was before, but about over 15 minutes, so my camera stopped working. Um, yeah, so I'm now using the 17 Stay Time concealer just on a couple of like blemishes and stuff. Kind of dot that in. So because I'm going to be out all night and I kind of want my foundation to stay in place, I'm going to put a little bit of powder just on like the bits that I get oily and I'm going to use this Cryolin Anti-Shine Powder and this is like powder that they use like in theatres and stuff I think on, like, so it's kind of stage makeup rather than actual like regular makeup and I got it from eBay after I saw a friend Gillian um, from Elevator Music, she used it in a video like a year ago or something and I bought it then and yeah, it's quite good. Just it totally like blocks your makeup and keeps it in place. And it's white, but it's like translucent when it goes on the skin, so you don't end up looking really. Okay, so nose and chin and stuff done. Um, I'm now going to attempt a little bit of contouring, which is kind of I feel like it's a bit pointless with me because I've got a fat face. So there's no way like adding a bit of bronzer in my hollows in my cheeks is not going to make my face look any thinner. But you know, whatever. So I'm using the Bourjois bronzing powder, like the chocolate block one, um, and a blush brush, blush brush from Real Techniques, and I'm just gonna put it in the non-existent hollows of my cheeks, like across my forehead and bits where sun would possibly hit if it was ever sunny in Edinburgh. Next I'm going to do a little bit of highlighting and this is the Topshop Crescent Moon Highlighter which I've had for like over a year now and I really, really like it. And I'm just going to put that like up here and across my eyebrow. Again this is another Real Techniques brush. All of my brushes are Real Techniques and this is the setting brush. Blush I'm going to use one of the, the Sleek palettes. It's the Blush by 3 um, and this is the lace one and the colour I'm going to use this one here. These are quite pigmented, as you can tell. I've possibly just put a bit too much on there, but if I keep buffing it in, it might look alright. Again, sorry if this is in a different place now. My camera ran out of memory, so I had to go and stick it in my laptop and transfer those two videos over. So, um, in that time, I finished my eyebrows. Well, finished putting the powder on. So. I'm now going to set them with just a plain clear mascara, this is from Seventeen. The thing that really annoys me about my eyebrows is they, they never look the same. Like, I can get one looking quite nice and then the other one doesn't look the same. And I know like they say, oh your eyebrows shouldn't be twins, they should be sisters, but I feel like mines are like cousins that don't like each other. Next I'm going on to my lashes and I have quite like straight lashes so I find it quite hard to get them curled and I found a good tip on Leanne Says in her YouTube channel. She says that if you use, <laughs> Leanne Says, if you use um, like a waterproof mascara and put like a light layer on and then use um, eyelash curlers to kind of set the curl and then go on with your normal mascara then it holds the curl better. So I've been doing that and it does definitely work so I'm going to start with the Clinique High Impact Mascara, so the waterproof one, and then I'm actually going to just use the non-waterproof Clinique High Impact afterwards. So I'm just going to put a really quite light layer of mascara on. The reason I don't use this like just completely all over, um, like as my normal mascara, is because it's such a pain to take off, and I really can't be bothered with the hassle, especially when I'm going to be getting back tonight at like one o'clock in the morning. I really do not want to have to spend ages taking mascara off. Um, so I'm just going to go in with my tweezers, not my tweezers, my eyelash curlers and I've had these for years, I have no idea where they're from. I think they were just from like a cheap like makeup tool set. They don't have a brand written on them or anything. But they do the job. This is my tricky eye. The right eye, like I mean if you've seen pictures of me um, you'll probably notice that like 
I look like I have one eye much bigger than the other and it's because my right eye has curled lashes and the left one just doesn't curl very well so in fact I'm going to do that one twice there we go. and now I'm going to go over with the normal mascara and that's the Clinique High Impact as it says non waterproof and I'm going to do like we later at a time okay that'll do for now um, I'm now going to go like underneath my um, with my bottom lashes and just put a little bit of some eyeshadow under there using this tiny little Real Techniques detailer brush, no accent brush. Um, I'm going to take one of the darker bronzes and put that in the outer corner. So this just gives my eyes a little bit of definition. Um, and then I'm going to take one of the lighter, in fact, I'm going to take that. You know, like the goldy, glittery type one. And just put that over the top and kind of move that even further along my eye. And then a tiny bit of just really light, um, it's not glittery this um, one, it's just basically a cream eyeshadow really. Um, just in the corner. So I'm going to put a little bit of mascara on my, on my bottom lashes, but this time I'm using the Maybelline the falsies because it's a kind of smaller brush and I, it doesn't kind of put as much um, mascara on there as the Clinique one would have. So I just really want a light layer. So I'm undecided as to whether or not I want to put like black eyeliner on my top lids. So I'm going to completely finish the makeup look, look and then see if I want it or not. So I'm going to put my lipstick on now and this is the Bourjois Rouge Edition Velvet in Peach Club and this has been my absolute favourite lipstick in the last couple of weeks. Um, I bought it after my friend Roisin featured it in a haul video that she did and literally the day I bought it I wore it and then the next like three days after I wore it as well which is kind of unlike me I don't really wear bright colours on my lips very often. I'm gonna stop talking and put this on. I don't own any um, lip liners, but if I did, I, I would have used a lip liner here because I feel like it, it's got the potential to kind of bleed out a bit. I feel like this does last like a long time, like it kind of stains the lips and, you know, stays put. But I'm going to take it with me anyway because obviously we're going to be eating and stuff before we go to the concert, so I'll top it up. I don't think I do want to use light liner actually because I feel like when you use um, like eyeliner, it makes your lashes look shorter. If you don't use any um, liner then you can't see it from where your, <laughs> I don't know if this makes sense, you can't really see where your lashes start from so I think it makes them look longer. So I'm now going to go and do my hair. It is pretty straight anyway because it blow dries straight but I'm just going to run the straighteners through it so I can kind of curl like turn off the edges properly and just tidy it up a bit and then I'm going to back comb the roots and spray through this Umberto Gianni back comb in a bottle which isn't really as good as it sounds. Um, you definitely need to have back combed your hair before you put this in in order for it to actually have a proper effect. But yeah, I'm gonna use that anyway. And then I might pin like a couple of bits back at the front. I'm gonna go and do that just now. I'm not gonna film it because I would have to move my entire setup over to the mirror. It's a bit of a pain. For you, it's just gonna be like, I've magicked from this into this. <laughs> Smoothly done. Um, so yeah, I've just kind of straightened it, put some volume through and yeah, pinned some bits back so just kind of slightly messy looking I don't like it when it's too done looking um, so that's my hair done, makeup done I'll show you now what I'm going to wear so I'm wearing this bright blue dress from Primark that I literally just bought yesterday it's actually not as bright as it's coming across in the camera there it's kind of more like a royal blue colour um, just like a skater dress it's a bit too long so what I'm going to do is fold up the waistband and then put a uh, belt in my waist as well and then I'm wearing this necklace which has got like bright blue, pink and green in it and some kind of triangles on it. Um, and then bag wise I'm going to take my neon yellow, again Primark. Everything I'm wearing is Primark actually because even my boots are Primark. Um, so this is just a little satchel. Um, so lots of bright colours, yeah, blue with pinks and stuff in it. I'm also going to wear my bright pink Primark scarf. <laughs> okay so I'm pretty much ready to go now. This is what I'm wearing. This is the dress. Like I said, I've folded the waistband up 
couple of inches. Yeah, the necklace just fits in nicely. And I've just got a little pair of flat, um, like, Chelsea type boots. So yeah, I've just got like this little blazer from New Look and then a bright scarf from Primark. So yeah, I'm wearing like every bright colour imaginable. I think I'm going to take some outfit the day pictures and then get a taxi. I was going to get a bus to the station but I've left it too late now, which always happens no matter how much time I leave to get ready. So yeah, I'm going to get myself to the station, meet the girls, get the train to Glasgow and see the concert. So I hope you've enjoyed this Get Ready With Me video. It's been a bit different to the ones that I usually do. And yeah, subscribe if you want to see more videos and I'll see you next time, bye bye.